Let me explain in plain English what we mean by the word fire and dispersion. When you look at a diamond and you see sparkle and flashes of light, there are three different things that are happening. One is an internal brilliance, one is an external luster, and probably the most attractive of all is what we call fire and dispersion. And quite simply, fire and dispersion is the breaking down of the white light that enters into the colours of the rainbow. And if you think back to when we were at school and we had the, the famous prism where you have the white light going in and the seven colours of the rainbow coming out, this happens in a diamond if and when the diamond has been cut properly. So if the diamond has the right angles on the crown facets and the right angles on the pavilion, the white light will go in It'll be reflected across the bottom of the, the diamond, what we call from pavilion to pavilion, and will come out of the crown facet. Now, a lot of people think that fire and dispersion comes out, and by the way, it's the same thing. Fire is the, the word we like to use, it's a bit more sexy, and dispersion is more sort of the, the, the technical word, the, one of the same things. But one of, a lot of people think that fire comes out of every facet of a diamond. Well, it doesn't. Most of the fire you're going to see comes out of the facets on the crown of the diamond. Same with coloured gemstones as well. But they come out the facets on the crown, and that is because of the angles. If you get that angle right, and the right angle is around 34 degrees, if you get that angle right, you're going to have a diamond that sparkles with lots of different colours, the whole spectrum of colours of the rainbow.